we're going to create multiplication flowers. So you're going to trace a circle for the center of your flower, choose any color that you want, and then pick a number for the center. I'm going to use the number 4. After you've done that, you're going to create petals around the outside of the flower. You need 12 of them. And then in each one of these petals, we're going to write the numbers 1 through 12 because those are the multiplication facts we're practicing. Then you're going to make outer petals. Use a different color and make them a little bit longer so that there's space to write a new number in each of the petals. Fill in each of the outer petals by skip counting by the center numbers. So here we're skip counting by fours. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, and 40, then 44 and 48. Now we're done. Now we can do this with any of our multiplication facts. So let's do one more together and let's choose the number 5. Remember, the first step is to trace something that's circular so you have a nice center of your flower and then write that number in the center of the flower. Choose another color and make your 12 petals around the outside and then fill in the numbers 1 through 12. I think I'll use blue for my next set of petals. Counting by 5s, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and 60. Then I'm going to just make this one a little more colorful so that it's pretty. Now if you look at your flower, you can see that all of the multiplication facts you've been practicing are there. 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times 2 is 10, 5 times 3 is 15, 5 times 4 is 20, and so on. Now it's your turn. Draw a multiplication flower for each skip counting sequence. 